With centralized admin tools, you now have the ability to control how your organization, be it a training facility or an academy, creates and manages their students and staff. Let me show you how. You'll see with organizations, you now have both an organization icon and name, and your profile icon is to the right. If I tap on the organization and then tap Edit Organization Profile, you'll see that I can update a logo for my organization, enter the name or edit the name, as well as change the type of organization that I have. Let's talk about managing staff. When you tap on your organization name, you'll see the option to manage staff. This brings up an interface where you can see each staff member in a list, and you can see whether they're upgraded or in limited status. You can also see if the coach is an admin of the organization and filter as necessary. You'll see here that I can add staff using the add staff option, which allows me to simply enter their name and send them an invite. This is where I can also select whether they should be an admin of the organization. When I tap into a staff member, you'll see I can upgrade and downgrade them here. And I also get an entire list of the students that they have invited and are connected with. Should this staff member leave my organization, I can tap the more icon here and reassign all of their students to a new staff member in just a couple of clicks. When inviting a student, traditionally you've had to enter their name and send them an invite. With organizations, you have a new option. When I tap on plus, add new people, you'll see I have the traditional manual entry mode, but I can now bulk add individuals. In addition, when I bulk add, it means it will generate a code that I can use multiple times, and I can even automatically connect the new user to one of my existing collections. For example, let's say I'm holding a sand trap clinic next weekend. I can generate a bulk invite, select sand trap clinic, create invite, and now the code that is generated when I hand that out to my new students for example, including it in a thank you email when they purchase the clinic online, will instantly connect their accounts into the Sandtrap Clinic collection. Here's this typical invite, and I can simply enter their email or text as needed. Using a combination of collections and the power of the organization, I can instantly modify which coaches are actually helping me with each student in the Sandtrap Clinic. If I tap the More icon next to the Sandtrap Clinic collection and tap Edit Collection, you'll see I have the ability to manage staff access. Here, in bulk, I can add staff, select a person, tap Add, and this will automatically add Lori to each student's workspace and she'll simply see these students and the collection name appear on her iPad. You'll notice now Lori is a member of each student within the collection and she'll have access to the videos so that we can both teach during the weekend for each of these students. Another powerful feature of organizations is the ability to create individual workspaces of existing members. For example, Let's say you have a team, here I have men's team, made up of multiple members, and I wanna start coaching Aaron Tucker privately. So I'd like to create an Aaron Tucker one-on-one -on -one workspace. Well, previously I would have had to re-add his name and send a whole new invite, but now I can simply tap the plus button, add new person, add individual manually, and instead of entering in his name and sending an invite, I choose from our existing list of students. I could add other coaches that are working with me, but in this case, I'll skip it. And then I can simply press done. And it creates the Aaron Tucker one-on-one -on -one workspace without having to send another invite. And on Aaron's side, he'll simply see another workspace appear where we're working one-on-one -on -one privately together.